A friend uh, about three years ago introduced me to a musician through MySpace. Remember when people used to use MySpace? His music was so beautiful and um, I just, it became something I listened to on such a regular basis uh, that even my husband would, I noticed he would start to know the, the words to the songs and um, it was just, it was just good music and um, it, he plays at a venue a little under two hours away from here sometimes. I saw him once um, prior to this um, and I wanted to go again and because I knew the venue and I knew how small and intimate it was I knew there was a chance I could just you know after the show shake his hand and just say thank you you're I'm a really big fan and your show was awesome something like that something you know it wouldn't be life-changing for either of us but um, I'm realizing now maybe it would be life-changing for me because I, I went to that show, I saw him perform, um, I was probably the biggest fan there, I knew all the words of the songs and um, I, I was just so happy to be there. I was feeling good about how I looked, I was feeling confident and he was walking around afterwards saying hello to his fans and taking pictures with them and I chickened out. I didn't want to approach him. And like I said, it wouldn't have been life changing. Um, he probably would have forgotten I existed after that and um, it really wouldn't have been a big deal. But to me, not doing it said so much. It told me that, you know, I was afraid to do something that would literally have been the person, the other person involved would have forgotten that interaction. But I was still afraid to do it. That means that I am afraid of myself. I didn't want him to look at me, I guess. And um, when I got back to my hotel room that night, I took a picture of myself. And I wanted to remember that that girl was the one who was afraid. His name is Julian Villard and his music is incredible. And my lack of interaction with him on that night, as limited as it would have been, um, really hung in my mind. And I am vowing to not be that girl anymore because if I'm afraid to say hello to a stranger who may never see me again um, just to give them a compliment no less what else am I afraid to do? I've trained myself to believe that I'm not worthy of giving another person a compliment because if a compliment's coming from someone like me it must not mean much I guess so Anybody ever pulled this move? I think it covers this. This is how I'll be taking my Christmas pictures this year. Thank you to Amy um, for being a part of this with me. And um, thank you for not saying anything nasty in my comments because I almost didn't do this after I saw a few other people's channels just demented perverted weirdos who are just looking to get a rise out of somebody or I don't know maybe they mean what they're saying um, would make awful comments and I haven't gotten any yet thank goodness but um, it almost kept me from doing it none of it's really much worse than the things that I have thought about myself though so um, I'll just take it as I get it and in the meantime thank you thank you thank you you'll be seeing me very soon